Scentland, the land of scent. Hello and welcome everyone, Chris back with another fragrance review, this time coming to you from a rather unusual spot to do a uh, fragrance review at, but it does have a reason. And the reason is that the fragrance I'm going to be presenting to you, a great child of the 80s by the way, let's drive, let's get the out here, out of here, um, is a as I say, a child of the 80s, and it very much reminds me of that decade, all the good things of that particular decade. Um, sorry if I keep the shades on, but uh, it's rather sunshine. It's rather sunshiny today, and therefore I chose to wear my sunglasses for this particular drive. Oh yes. So, the year is 1988 country is Italy. The designer is Benetton. Benetton, right? And you may start to get a clue. Because Benetton at the, in the 80s and 90s was heavily involved in Formula One. They had actually a great team. Benetton Ford and then Benetton Renault, I think it was. And I was a huge fan. And um, I loved the, the, I loved, listen to this, I loved the colors of the cars, colors of Benetton, right? That was the main um, theme at the time of Benetton, Benetton colors, right? And so I became a fan of that particular brand and I saw a fragrance with the same colors that their Formula One racing car was showing. Remember that? Remember those days, those of you who like Formula One and were around in those days? Yes, Benetton Colors is the fragrance that I'm going to be presenting you today. And um, this was the box. Well, actually, this one is already a newer release because the bottle itself it looks like this it's a blue bottle now the original was black okay actually the, the colors have faded I mean the, 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 the writing on the on the um, bottle but still the fragrance this is a 30 mil is an incredible incredible fragrance and I'll tell you why not only because of the great memories that I I attach to this this is, to me, one of the nicest uh, members or, or representatives of the 80s fragrances because it has everything that the 80s is all about or was all about. It, it, it's, um, it's special, uh, laid back. It's not as much in your face as uh, as many members of the 80s were, this is more playful. Obviously, Benetton is a, is a more type, a more kind of a casual sports-oriented brand, or was at least at the time, uh, with more casual clothing um, for the, for young people. So the entire design was meant to be like that, and, and pointing toward that direction, obviously, um, and. When I first got this, uh, I wore this quite intensely. Um, it was a very strong fragrance, actually still is. And um, it has a great, great lemon opening, which is the old school 80s lemon. And then you have some classy lavender and what I call an 80s dirt component or blend way of blending because um, it's just it, there's a tons of things in this jasmine rose moss um, I detect I detect several citruses actually I, I always think that there's some mandarin in here I'm not exactly sure if that's true but 
it's a very complex fragrance and it, it has its own aura and the aura is the happy times of the 80s it's really it's really all about the happy times of the 80s when when my favorite uh, formula one driver alessandro nannini alessandro nannini at the time uh, drove the Renault, uh, the, sorry, Benetton Ford, I think it was at the time still, uh, Benetton number 19 in the year of 90, uh, 90 actually 1990, I think it was, and then he, he had a helicopter accident, and then Michael Schumacher came into the game and um, took the number 19 of Benetton over, and this is how I became a huge Michael Schumacher fan. And uh, I am till this day. So this fragrance and these colors, and the name is actually <laughs> colors, has a special place in my heart. And nowadays Benetton is still around with fragrances. Um, yet the quality is kind of varying. Uh, there are some good juices out there and there are some forgettable ones, especially in regards to the performance. It's not always great. This has a tremendous performance and you know the nose behind this fragrance in 1988 was Anne Gottlieb and Anne Gottlieb we know uh, she has done many many fragrances for Carolina Herrera many fragrances for Calvin Klein and she has done tons of fragrances for Axe or Axe um, and that shows me that she has a very good touch a very good feeling for mass fragrance appeal uh, she really does fragrances that appeal to the broader audience and are very popular now this one is not around I think anymore it's at least in in, in the geographical area where I'm moving around it's it's difficult to get colors by Benetton but here and there I still bump into mainly the smaller ones what's interesting and that's an imp important information for you who uh, you know trying to seek out this fragrance is that you have to be especially with the larger 100 mil you have to be careful because um, the bottle after all these years if you get a vintage is leaking to juice in a way that it's not dropping out or flowing out it's kind of evaporating from the bottle I have sealed I've had sealed boxes and, and, and you know reliable sources selling me this fragrance and some of the juice was already missing. Now the whole presentation is kind of a, you know, it's all plastic, okay? But it has this 80s feeling uh, and it's, it's tremendous. I really, really like it. And um, to me, it will always be the 80s. This is the fragrance that I, if I smell this, this is pure 80s. Um, Benetton, Formula One, uh, um, Miami Vice, Phil Collins, um, those weird jackets, uh, you know, so many things that are milestones of the 80s, right? This is very much 80s bottle for me. So I, when I wear this occasionally, I have always a smile on and and um, and actually this this freshness paired up with this dirty the dirty earthy vibe at the at the top makes this a, a quite classy smelling fragrance. Uh, now at the time it was meant for the younger audience. Today I think it fits people 30 and above. Uh, so um, you know, obviously trends and, and tastes within those trends uh, have changed but um, you are if you if you like the 80s seek this one out if you haven't tried it yet but I think many of my subscribers uh, who are old enough to have been around in the late 80s mid 80s late 80s uh, consciously smelling fragrances right they know this juice and uh, and they have their own stories, memories behind uh, colors of Benetton. And um, yeah, so, you know, whenever I'm out having a drive, uh, doing some casual, sportive kind of uh, stuff,
stuff with, with friends, then I tend to wear this mostly because I have this very strong nostalgic feeling toward this fragrance and uh, and it's refreshing with this slightly semi-sour lemon and lavender at the beginning or mandarin even and then it gets this dirty mossy vibe at the end it's fantastic it's just for a guy uh, in his 40s for casual occasions uh, mostly springtime summer summer evenings maybe uh, this is a great choice so thanks very much for watching and uh, let me pass this bicycle these two bicycle guys um, and uh, that was Chris with another fragrance for you one of my favorite fragrances from the 80s a definite icon of the 80s colors of Benetton by Anne Gottlieb from the year of 1988 thanks very much and uh, I will continue to drive safely and see you soon again take care